there is a potential small impact that the caffeine may have on your cortisol. Your cortisol being something that helps you to wake up in the morning, gets you going, or in excessive amounts can potentially contribute to anxiety and things like that. But I'm thinking more about your circadian rhythm when I'm talking about having your coffee about an hour after waking up. At night, when you're exposed to darkness, you start to produce melatonin because the darkness signals your brain through your eyes to produce more melatonin so that we can get ready to be sleepy and go to bed. Then you go to sleep and in the morning, your melatonin starts to drop and then your cortisol starts to come up and it's kind of like the sun rising. It's saying, all right, time to wake up, get out of bed. And that's what your cortisol does in the morning. It has a little bit of a spike to wake you up. So let's say if you are having coffee regularly, first thing in the morning, you roll out of bed. Within 10 minutes, you're going to go drink your coffee or within the hour, basically, you're going to go drink your coffee. Maybe it's going to spike your your cortisol a little bit more, or maybe over time, your body starts to get a little bit of a spike from the cortisol from the caffeine, and then it decides that it doesn't have to produce its own cortisol anymore. And then you stop caffeine or you don't have caffeine now and then, and then your body's like, what do I do? I don't have enough cortisol being produced because typically you give me this coffee caffeine boost of cortisol, but now I have to do it myself. It just kind of confuses the body. So if you can just wait an hour, your body will have already had its full cortisol spike itself. It has its natural kind of circadian rhythm. And then your coffee won't be impacting it as much. 